Wednesday, the 20th of uh, July. Um, I guess this is a vlog, guys, because I'm going on a mini staycation with my daughter. It's a mini spa break. It's just an overnight stay. Um, we were originally going to go abroad, um, but with all the travel chaos, it seems like Britain cannot cope infrastructurally. Can't cope. We've got rail strikes, airport chaos, flights being cancelled. Um, the the trains couldn't even cope with the, the heat because rails were buckling. So many things going on this summer. But we wanted to. My daughter and I wanted just to get away for a short time because she doesn't live in this country anymore and she's back for the summer and then I won't see her for the rest of the year so it's really important for us to spend quality time so yeah we're not going to go that far I'm going to drive we won't be, be spending that much time traveling but I'm really looking forward to it it's a spa hotel in Hertfordshire um, so yeah I'm going to finish this one and then go home and pack and I'll catch up with you soon Hey guys, we've arrived at Sopwell House. Um, we didn't film, we didn't get to film before we left because it was a bit of a rush and we just wanted to get out of London. So we've arrived. So we're just gonna unload the car and check in. So we'll see you once we've got settled down and we'll give you a room tour. All right, see you in a minute. <laughs> so guys, before we check in, I just wanted to run through the history of Sopwell House. I like to know the origins of um, places that I stay. So this is on their website, saltpillhouse.co.uk. A 17th century Georgian country house. The earliest reference to Saltpill House is found in a deed of 1603, which makes reference to the house as the newly built New Barns, home to Richard Sadlier. Little is known about the intervening period until 1665 when the Duchess Alice Alicia, a member of the illustrious Dudley family, took up residence during the Great Plague and Fire of London. The name New Barnes is still used locally today with New Barnes Mill and its bridge situated nearby. I thought this bit was interesting. At the beginning of the 18th century, Edward Strong, a master mason known to have worked on St Paul's Cathedral, leased the house and it is assumed that he developed the house further during his tenure. In 1901, Admiral of the Fleet, Prince Louis of Battenberg, father of Louis and Alice, leased the house as his family's country home. Louis, later Lord Mountbatten of Burma, was the last governor of India. Alice married Prince Andrew of Greece and was the mother of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. It is believed that Prince Andrew proposed to Alice in the gardens of Sopwell House. We've just arrived in the room and it is lovely so I'm gonna turn the camera around and give you a quick tour it's very air-conditioned we needed that didn't we Nat mm -hmm. <laughs> okay let me turn you around okay so this is the bed got a double bed with all the fancy cushions and I love the headboard with the light fittings lovely and your side table glass side table 
lovely carpet. Let's take a look outside. Okay, we're overlooking one of the restaurants. Okay, that's that looks like the reception where we were a minute ago. Not sure, but we'll get our bearings later on. Loving the artwork. Lovely chair, armchair with the TV. Let me see the artwork here. Got double aspect windows, a nice mirror. And another mirror here. And this is the entrance. This looks like the wardrobes. Let's see. Oh yeah. That's nice. Enough wardrobe space. You've got your safe. And the iron board as well. And the iron. Good. Let's check out the bathroom. Oh, lovely bathroom. <gasps> oh, I like that shower. Rainfall shower head. That's great. I've got some Elemis products. I'm going to be using these. Yep, hand and body wash, hand and body lotion. Can't wait to try those. That's going to be good. And let's see what's behind here, the loo. Okay, and we've got bathrobes as well. Lovely. Okay, so... Are you hungry now? No. You're not hungry? Yeah, I'm actually. I'm hungry. So, um, yeah, going to look for some food. Okay, coffee and tea making facilities. Oh, like those cookies. What's this? Oat and honey. Oat and honey biscuits. What's the other ones? Them ginger biscuits. Okay, got a variety of sugars, herbal tea, coffee in a bag. Did you just say that you're freezing? Yeah, I'm freezing cold. It's like ice in here. In here. It, the air conditioning was on? Yeah. Oh. Are, you, are you joking? No. Okay. Um, your circulation is bad. <laughs> Oh, you want something now? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, what are we going to have then? Me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know yet. They're a cold. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, you decide and we'll order. Do they have like a light sandwich, sandwich or something? This is all the sandwich. You can get started if you want. So guys, while Natalia's ordering um, room service, uh, yeah, we had to call the maintenance for maintenance because our TV wasn't working when we first arrived. Um, it was working, but it wasn't connecting. So he just um, rebooted it, fiddled about, fiddled about with the cables and now it's working. So yeah, um, really nice guy really really pleasant person and he was just saying you know what's around in the grounds it's a historical building and he was saying it's nice to walk just have a walk around so I think I'm going to do that either this evening or tomorrow morning because you guys know I love to walk so it'll be nice to sort of uh, have a be nose have a nosy round because um, it is a nice it's a nice building it's a quirky building um, I didn't film us as we were coming to our room because we had all, all our luggage, but the floors slope. So our room, our room's on the first floor, but we had to go 
down a couple of slopes to get to the lift it's not near the reception and then getting the lift to go to the first floor where our room is it's a very quirky configuration so as we're moving about the hotel during our stay I'll show you bits and pieces but overall it's a good vibe what do you say Nat? Very good, I'm very pleased. Very good? Mm. Okay so we're gonna order room service now well we've ordered it have you ordered it already? Yes. Okay and you're having the chicken and avocado wrap what am I having croque monsieur? Mm -hmm. Okay yeah so that's gonna come shortly and then I think I think I might want to go to the gym afterwards i think i'm going to go to the gym afterwards and maybe the steam room and sauna or mm. do you, yeah maybe steam room and sauna and um yeah yeah we'll do that i know i saw all the prices for both of them <laughs> okay yeah well it's this uh it's a spa right so okay guys i'm gonna turn you around and yeah, just give you an over just the view from what we can see on this window because it's a double as uh, it's a double aspect room so we've got two windows one here and one on the other side so i'm going to give you a view of what i can see okay so we've got a view of the one of the places you can eat i'm not sure what this one is called but it looks quite pleasant and um be not, I don't know whether we have breakfast down there I'll find out more as the day progresses but yeah I think I'm going to take a walk around the grounds at some stage it looks really good if you guys have watched my videos before you, you know that I have a what I call a love-hate relationship with London um, sometimes it's good to get out where we are, where Sockwell House is situated is in St Albans in Hertfordshire. It's less than an hour from London, but it, it's, it's near enough to get back quickly, but far enough to know you're in the countryside. It's very peaceful and that's what I love because, you know, sometimes you need time on your own, especially when you've had a busy week. I mean, this is midweek. <laughs> this is Wednesday. Got, I can see two women, they've just come from the, either the steam room or the spa and that's what I want to do later on. Hey guys! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're just waiting for our food now, aren't we? Mm. Yeah. What do you think so far, Nat? Yeah, I like it. Yeah? Is it too quiet for you? Bit. Yeah, because you're used to the, you're, you're used to being with all your friends and making the most noise, right? Mm. No, but it's good to get away and in the quiet though, don't you think? Yeah. We're only here. Yeah, we're here just for an overnight stay, so we're not like here for uh, five days or anything like that. Yeah, we go pool later. Yeah. I won't go to the pool. Yeah, we'll go to the pool later on. Um, check that out. And yeah, we'll see what else is there. I definitely want to go to the steam room and sauna. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because as a guest, you have access, free access to the cotton mill spa facilities. But if you want uh, massage, things treatment, like a massage and all, all the other treatments, um, what you, face? They, so they charge your card a hundred pounds of credit, and then whatever treatment you use, they put it on the credit, and then whatever you don't use, they refund it back to your card. Oh, okay, yeah. How about the room service? Are they going to take deduct that from what they the credit? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, they'll they'll. Well, she just explained that. So if we do want treatments later. Um, that will come out of the credit. Yeah, that will come out of the credit. Okay, so while we're waiting, Madam is going to do a TikTok. I have no idea about TikTok. She's tried to show me before, and I don't know. What are you actually going to do? It's just a montage of the whole thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, all you TikTokers, you know what she, what she's going to do. I have no idea. I'm not of the TikTok generation. Fortunately or unfortunately, I... Yeah, this is about as far as I'm going to go with um, YouTube and Instagram. Have any of you guys been here before? Saltwell House in St Albans. It was, this was actually recommended to me by um, Gina. You guys know Gina. She's, um, you've seen her on my channel before. Because um, I was asking for uh, recommendations for a short trip away. Nats and I were actually going to go abroad. 
but because of, I think I explained that to you when I was in the park this morning because of the like we had rail we have rail strikes we've had intermittent rail strikes flights have been cancelled left right and center all through the UK yesterday because it was the hottest day of the year loads of trains were cancelled because they couldn't the the actual tracks buckled under the heat so yeah and for some reason i think summer is just the worst time in britain you can't do anything the country literally shuts down i know on the continent on the europe on in europe everything closes down for august because it gets too hot um, i'm just but, gonna go outside to do my tiktok um of the entrance and i'll be back <laughs> <laughs> but yeah yesterday was just absolutely I hate this word unprecedented we can't cope in this country if it snows we can't cope if it rains if it's torrential rain we can't cope and if it's really hot sun we can't cope so oh here you go yeah so um yeah well yeah so yeah so we we were gonna go away but we thought we're not gonna risk it because it will be too stressful to actually get out of the country no guarantees we'd get out of the country no guarantees even if we were to travel like right out of london not even home counties just like up north or like down on to the west country or right down south because i wasn't going to drive all that way that is. <laughs> Okay, so she's just shown me her TikTok so far, it. a bit of it. Um, she hasn't finished it, obviously, but yeah. Well done, babes. <laughs> just picking up the camera. On yeah. yeah. So when is our food coming then? I don't know. How long did they say? They're probably doing extra. Why? What do you mean? Not extra. Oh, is that an update? This is no. Oh, what's that? Um, this this is just when I ordered it. I didn't say how long it's gonna take. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Nothing really exciting. Just madam doing nonsense as usual. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I'm hungry. Same. I want my food now. That's a lot of food, Nat. Mm. <laughs> okay, so that's mine, croque monsieur. And this one is Nat's. Is, <laughs> what is that? Chicken and avocado wrap. Yeah. With, is that crisps? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Happy? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. So we're about to go swimming now. So excuse the mess on here. You saw what we had, okay, before. Not long after that. This girl, mm -hmm. she said that she was hungry again. So she ordered from a company called Crepe Fair. So she ordered, well, how many crepes did you order? Just like one crepe. One and crepe a and a milk, a salted caramel milkshake. And ice cream. And ice mm -hmm. cream. I didn't get any of the ice cream. <laughs> she allowed me to taste the crepe and the salted caramel. Um, and they were nice, admittedly. But yeah, when I tell you this girl can eat, she can eat. And if you see how skinny she is. Anyway, I cannot say the same. Mm -hmm. We're about to go down. But this is my um, swimming attire that I thought I'd just show you. But we're going to go swimming now. And um, I don't know whether I'm going to film actually. But yeah, we're going to go down. How long are we going to stay in the nap? Like 40 minutes. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Okay, guys. So yeah, we shall see you soon. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I don't know, I thought you knew. Oh. Ooh, I love this wallpaper. Mm. What is it? Does that mean upstairs or straight? Upstairs? No, this means upstairs. 
That's why he's waiting. That's not this bar. Oh, okay. Oh, this is nice. Thank you very much. one I suppose. Actually one of those ones down there. Okay. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Is it cold? They dive in the lake wherever they go in Surrey. I think the last place they went was on was it Saturday or Sunday? And she showed me the video of her dive, uh, jumping in the lake. And this is the madness that they get up to. But it's important to teach your kids to swim. So if you've got little ones, teach them how to swim. Not really.
She's the expert, even though she's never been here before. These are my flip flops squeaking, if that's what you're wondering. Okay, so she's put hers there, let me put mine here. Okay, let's go. Where's your phone? Okay hey guys, I'm going to have to leave you because I'm going into the steam room now. I don't want my phone to get destroyed. So hopefully it will be safe out here. So I'll see you in a bit. Huh? It's oil and water and I don't need it. So obviously it's not going to do nothing. Right guys, I've just come out of the steam room and I thought my face was going to be melting. So I'm pleasantly surprised. Oh yeah, so guys, um, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed this afternoon. Um, I think this is my favourite place at the moment. Softball House. Yeah. Love it. Okay guys, we are about to go. What is that? Right, we are about to go to Din Din's. And yeah, we're ready. Madam is watching Love Island, which I'm not a fan of. Never watched it. This is Young People, Young People's Programme. <laughs> so yeah this, who cares what i'm wearing no one cares i'll just what i got my clothes yeah <laughs> um yeah done my how to show i done my makeup actually yeah i've just got a red lipstick on i haven't got a new lipstick on like i normally wear but yeah and that's it madam are you ready yeah almost okay okay and then we're ready to go. So, um, yeah, we'll decide what we're going to eat when we get down there. We'll do it in this mirror. Um, can you put this one in? Isn't it? Yeah. So you've got a corn star martini with Prosecco. <laughs> and I've got the rosé Prosecco. Cheers, love. Cheese. You don't do a proper cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
restaurant so far, Nat. It's nice. It's nice, isn't it? Looks good. It's nice and egg conditioned. And um, the food is, well, I hope the food tastes nice. The food is going to taste nice. So you ordered a uh, Sopwell burger. And I ordered the monkfish and tiger pool. So I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be good. I love monkfish. Monkfish is my favourite fish because it's very good to eat. And I love prawns as you guys know. I love seafood. So I'm looking forward to that. When it comes, I'll show you what we ordered. So yours is the Sockwell burger. Mm -hmm. Yes. Medium well, you asked for. Yeah. That's good. Okay, that looks really good. And mine is the monkfish <gasps> and tiger prawns. Oh my god, this is look. This actually looks amazing. I can't wait to get stuck in this. Lovely. Okay, Nat. What did you think for your, about your meal? Yeah. Yeah, really cool now. But you still want dessert? Yeah. <laughs> My one was very nice. Lovely, lovely. Monkfish and tiger prawns. Lovely. And I finished my Prosecco. And Natalia's finished her prawn star martini. Yep. Amazing. Nice meal. Great atmosphere. Lovely. Looking forward to dessert now. Good atmos. Good atmos, yeah. So Natalia's trying to hurry up the wait waitress to bring our dessert. So I need to watch Love Island on Plus One. <laughs> so that she can watch Love Island on Plus One. Love Island, you know. <laughs> it's getting good. It's getting juicy. I have never watched that show. I never intend to watch that show. But I think I'm going to be forced to watch that show. Because we're sharing the room. And she's not going to let me get away with it. I won't be able to watch what I want to watch. Yes, you will. Do you, you guys have this, watch anything. Do you guys have this problem with your kids where you're forced to watch stuff that they watch that you don't want to watch? Me. <laughs> you're not watching nothing now. You put something on your laptop. I'm like, yeah, I might watch something on my laptop. Yeah. There's only going to be half an hour anyway. Alright, oh, that was the first 20 minutes. Okay. Okay, anyway, let's order dessert. Let's see the dessert menu and we'll see what's on there. I hope she doesn't think I'm going to be here. What's that? Peach mum mail bar. Sunday. Sunday, yeah. And I've got some biscuits with my cappuccino that's about to come it's going to come in a minute though but these biscuits are nice so i started before i showed you what i had but this this is very nice very fresh yum here's my cappuccino seven and I'm about to go for a walk um, and then I'm gonna go to the gym so this is what I'm gonna wear not that you guys are interested but yeah this is what I'm wearing um, this is from Marks and Spencer's I got I think it was last year these are from H&M these are my daughters actually they don't fit her anymore she gave them to me again about a year ago and these are from eBay I need to get a new pair actually because these are starting to get worn but these are really comfortable these shoes um, they've got a really good supportive sole and I find that they help me they, they've helped to strengthen my calves over the last year and a half or so so yeah that's what I'm wearing today I need to try and get a stone off in the next three weeks so that's what I'm trying to do I'm very attractive I know but 
yeah, as a woman over 50, my body's been through a lot, so still try still trying to improve every day and that's all I can do my best can't do any more so it's a day by day process my priority right now is just to stay fit and healthy and that's what I'm trying to do and I know that my stamina has been built up over a while now so things that I couldn't do before like run for the bus I can do that now very easily very comfortably so yeah if you're a woman in your 50s, I'd um, strongly encourage you to take up exercise or just do some light exercise if if you can't do any workouts or anything. Um, I'm going to go to the gym afterwards. I'm going to check out their gym and see what they have there. But yeah, this is me, guys. This is me today. And I'm going to go out. This is the look because it's, it's a little bit it looks a little bit chilly outside so I'll put on a top um where did I get this top from this top I've had for ages I can't even tell you where I got it from uh but yeah this is this is my final look guys and it's got a hood as well in case it gets a bit cold I could just put that on Okay, so finally, just wanted to show you the bag that I always carry with me when I go for a run. Um, so it ha my mum gave me this actually, I don't even know where she got it from. I don't like to carry a lot of things in my hands when I'm out running. So she gave me this bag, it's like a crossbody um, with, the, with the main bag at the front. And it's got a zip here, which, where I put my phone. And then it's got a pouch here, Velcro where I put my earbuds which are contained in here which I got from eBay if any of you are interested I don't know whether they sell that these anymore can't remember the seller but these are my earbuds and these have lasted me a really long time I think they're about 11 pounds but yeah I put those in here put my phone in here and then I'm good to go so that's my final, final, final look. Okay guys, see you soon. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go for a walk now around the grounds of the hotel. So we're just gonna go through the car park now. That's the direct, those are the directions I've been given. Such a nice day guys, such a nice day as you can see. It's been raining. Nats actually said it when we were in the restaurant last night that um, it was raining. And it just feels so fresh and cool compared to the um, first half of the week. That was really unbearable, guys. Really unbearable. Especially Tuesday. But yeah. Let's go and let's see what's around here so nice you know like English countryside I mean this isn't into the depths of the countryside but it's far enough from London where you've got farms etc look how scorched that field is I don't know whether you can see that that's the effects of the sun the weather that we've been having this is what most of the UK looks like. Brown grass or scorched grass. <sighs> okay, so you can see the hotel on the other side. I love early mornings. I never used to be a morning person, you know. Never used to be a morning person. When I was about my daughter's age, she's 19. Oh, look at this, guys. This is quite nice. Look at 
some of the gravel, clear the gravel. Um, yeah, I never used to be a morning person, always wanted my lions. But I don't know whether you found this, ladies, especially over 50. As you get older, do you want, you, you, you don't really want a lion anymore? I think it's a thing about, um, for me anyway, not wasting time, trying to squeeze as much time out of the day as possible. So this is what I like to do. If you guys are watching any of my videos previously, you've heard me talk about seeing me in my local park in the morning. I just find that it's so peaceful and you just get time to think. And um, yeah, just to uh, be alone with your thoughts. This looks a bit spooky. What's this? I'm not going to go through there, I'm going to go through this side. This is so nice. Love it. Okay, let's see what's here first. Interesting. Okay, so it's just a walled area. I don't know what this is used for. But it's uh, it's it's um sort of semi separated for a reason. It's open field. Let's go back this way. So yeah, as I was saying, I find that as I get older, I want to get more out of the day. And again, that's been more, more acute since my dad passed. Um, so yeah, let's just go and have a wander around. Let's see what's here. Love the fresh air, love being out in nature like this. My daughter didn't want to come because she was really tired. Um, yeah, she... She does a lot. She's always up, up and about doing stuff. So I didn't, I wasn't going to force her to come with me. Couldn't come here at night time, you know. It's so dark, look. What is this? Even darker. Okay, this is where they put all their dump all their. I don't know what this is. It's got pallets and stuff and old furniture. It looks like her bonfire's been prepared with all old mattresses and other bits and pieces. Um, yeah, can't really go any further now. I'm going to head back. When my daughter was very tiny, a few months old, I'd, um, we used to live near some woods. Like, literally, our road was... Uh, you know, in front of some woods or back into some woods and I'd go running there like around this time or from about six, between six and seven that's like maybe 20 years ago I just find it so relaxing
cups and mix that up your day. So yeah, if you can guys, even if you just walk, just get moving. I'm not here to preach to you, you do what you want at the end of the day, but as an older woman, that will be my advice to you. Morning. It's just so nice here. And that's the hotel from a different perspective. I think our room is on this side behind the trees. You can't see that. So. And there's the way to see the steam rising in the windows. That's where the swimming pool is over the way yesterday. I don't know if you can see it clearly on here, but yeah, just there. That's the swimming pool and the steam room and sauna, etc. Yeah, it's been really good, you know. I am definitely going to come here again. Obviously, for a longer time. Um, don't know whether to do it for my birthday some of my friends to come or maybe just make this my own little retreat that I go to like once every couple of months or something I don't know but yeah it's not too far out of London but it's just far enough from London to say you're not in London if that makes sense yeah I think um now I'm going to go and see where the gym is and do a workout for about half an hour or so. Breakfast we're due to have at nine. So I'll get back. Um, for about eight. Not sure. I'll see what Nats is up to. But yeah guys, I'll, I'll pick the camera up again when I'm in the gym. Morning.
Anyway, okay, we're going down to breakfast now. So, yeah. I got the key. Oh, you don't have the key? Okay, here we go. Here we go, love. Shall I carry it? Okay. Are you tired, Natalia? What time did you go to bed, Natalia? 3 a.m. <laughs> 3 a.m. Oh dear. It's quite nice. Quite a nice day, I think. Anyway, let's order breakfast. Okay, Nats has got the same. Okay, so it's self-service buffet. This not this is not the type of breakfast I normally have. I usually have cereal. Um, but yeah, when you're away, you just want to have a nice cooked English breakfast. I've got some juice. I don't know what juice this is actually. Um, I think it's apple juice. Could be pineapple. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm gonna have this and then go back upstairs soon. Okay, guys, I've never seen this before in a hotel. Honeycomb. So you can get honeycomb or honey only. So that's a honeycomb. And that's the honey only and those are the instructions and I've actually taken some honeycomb which I'm going to put in my coffee right now hey guys so I've decided to have another breakfast hey guys so we've just come from breakfast well a while ago I've just packed and um, Natalia's been sleeping She's just got up. So yeah, we're gonna leave in, what's the time now? We're gonna leave in about half an hour, it's 10.30 now, and we're, check out time is 11. So I, yeah, so I've just finished packing actually. So now I can spend the rest of the time relaxing, which is a first for me. I feel really good. This, you know, last 24, 40, uh, 24, 36 hours has been so good for me mentally and physically um went for a walk around the grounds this morning and then straight into the gym did half an hour on the treadmill and yeah had a good breakfast so i don't really intend to eat much later that's not my normal breakfast i had two helpings of english <laughs> cook the english breakfast i i don't do that unless i'm away so i feel i feel really good um yeah i am definitely going to come back again i'm definitely going to come back again just to get away by myself take a good book and spend a couple of days get the full um access to treatments so yeah i'm, I'm thinking about becoming a member because it's not too far from london it's under an hour and it's far enough to know that you're not in london anymore if that makes sense so yeah, we're going to get ready to go. Um, I've changed my bottoms to what I had on last night and I've got my sketches on. I need to get a new pair of them. I just want to feel comfortable when I drive home. And yeah, looks like it's a nice day. Hopefully not boiling like it was a couple of days ago. I'm going to wrap this up and I may catch you to do a proper sign off uh, when we're in the car. So we'll catch up later. Hey guys, we're in the car now and we're just about to leave. So, yeah, how did you enjoy it, Nat? Yeah, it was really good. It was good. You had a good sleep, right? Yeah, a lot of sleep. <laughs> she had a lot of sleep and I had, um, yeah, I feel rejuvenated. I feel, yeah, I've got a lot of energy, which is really good. So, yeah, definitely going to come back again. And we're on our way home now. Going to go on the motorway. Should be home. What's the time? About quarter past 11. Should be home before noon, I guess. So I'm going to wrap up this video now, guys. And thank you so much for coming along with us. I hope you enjoyed what we experienced. Mm. Um, and if you can find your way down here at some point in the future, we would definitely recommend it. Right, Nat? Yep. Okay. All right, guys. Take care. And you shall catch me in the next video. Bye. <laughs>